Hi guys, hope you enjoy the content, but before you do that, don't forget to give us a like on YouTube, it really does help out. While you're also giving us a like, don't forget to hit subscribe and of course that little bell button to get notified. Also, give us a share as well. But before you do that, you can go also get a contact with us via Discord. The link is in the description below. So, on to the videos. Hi guys, welcome back to Gran Turismo 4 with the B-Spec mode. Uh, so basically something well, strange happened a few days ago. I'll go in and I'll show you what I was doing. Uh, basically, the game's lagging right now for some reason. I basically done all the license tests, so you can see we've got B, A, International B and International A, and of course the special license. The reason I've done them is so I can go and do some of the, like, the special conditioned uh, events, which is like rally events and stuff, so I've done not all of them, just a few here and there. So I've done like the Tsukuba ones, because they're dead easy to do one race. Uh, I've also done a few of the driving missions as well. As you can see, I've done like the first ten, basically. So what, when I was doing that, I had to change a few settings in the emulator. Uh, yeah, the PS2 emulator. And when I'd done that, something extremely weird has happened. I'll show you what I mean. So if I click on the Minota, you can you can see it. I can click on it, comes up fine. I can click on the Suzuki, which is fine. I just I bought that the other day, so that's fine. But if I go over here and try and get into that, it won't let me. Or if I go into that, it lets me. I don't know what has happened, but some of the cars are screwed over, and some of them aren't. I don't know what's happened, and it's not like a whole list of them, it's like certain cars, I don't know why, but they're, you can't access them. The only good thing is, the, the cars that I've spent a lot of money on, like the Zonda, not the Zonda, the, the, the Panos and stuff, that works fine, which I'm fine with because I spent about 3 million on that thing. Uh, the AMG is fine. I'm not too bothered about that because I can get, go out and get an Audi and do the DTM and get that back again. So I'm, I'm not too bothered about the AMG anyway. But some of the cars work, don't work. And I'm just trying to work out which ones do work and which ones don't work and try and work out, you know, why they're not working. At first I thought it was the vehicles that I was buying through the you know, the trade thing, but it's not, because stuff like the, the Chevy Silverado that you win, you can't drive that, or the Chevrolet SS45, uh, you can't drive that either, so I don't know what's going on with them, to be honest, like that, you can't get in the Geneta, you can't get in any of the Lotuses, but I think you can get in the Alain, no? There's one Lotus you can get in, I can't remember, is it that one? Yeah. So certain cars you can get in, certain cars you can't get in. I, I don't know what has happened and why some of them have corrupted. It's quite annoying because, um, well now that I've showed you what's going on, I can now load up state. This is what I've been doing. Uh, this uh, the 24 hour endurance race and I've done some like switches with the memory card I'm going to try and get it to corrupt itself so that it resets the garage if that doesn't work I'm, I'm not too bothered because um, uh, I'm going to put the emulator uh, back I usually turn up the frame limiter on this one and it's, it basically speeds up a bit um, so yeah, I, I don't know what has happened. Uh, by the time you see this video, it will be about the end of 
middle of May, maybe the 25th or something like that. But by the time of the recording of this video, it is actually the the 8th of December. That's how far ahead I've recorded these in. And I'm quite glad that I got quite a lot of them in because, as I said, I don't know why they've corrupted. It's really annoying. But at least the majority of the vehicles that I've bought, like the, the Panos, uh, I think the Ford F-150 works, um, a few of the licensed cars I got worked, like the Golf GTI and stuff, they all work fine. Um, I, I really don't know what's going on with it, so I'm going to continue with this 24 engine race. Uh, that's like Panos, Panos in this race, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a short one, just explaining to you what has happened. Uh, there's nothing I can do, I'm going to try and, as I say, corrupt the, the, the memory card. Uh, try and reset the garage. If it doesn't reset, I'll just need to deal with whatever cars we can use and work on them. So I think I get a... Uh, actually, let me check. There's a car list website. I don't know what car I get for that. I think it's the Toyota GT1 I get for this one. I know for the other Le Mans track you get the Bentley uh, 8 car. Which I do actually like. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be it for today. Um, as I said, I don't know what's going on with it. I'll try and sort something out. Uh, so if I wanted, I could easily just drive. I'm not going to. I'm going to let him do all the work. So that's going to be it for today, folks. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, take care. Goodbye for now. Um, I was going to end the video. Uh, this was a few hours ago, but then I thought... If we're going to keep the cars, we need to keep them in a certain order. So what I've actually done, if we go into the garage, what I've actually done, as you can see, what I've done, I've done, let me say that one more time, I've done, is um, basically from this Audi here onwards, all of these cars, as you can see, these are all the corrupt ones. So I can't get in any of these. So everything beyond the Audi, such as the AC, the Alpha, the MG, the Chevy, Corvette, Chrysler, all of these cars we can use, as you can see. So that's the best way to do it really, so obviously as we get more cars the line will move up, but basically from this Audi onwards is all the cars that we can't use, as you can see. Which is annoying, but what can, what can you do? As you can see, these are all pretty useless. Also, for the next episode, uh, what I've actually done is I've prepared them. What I mean by that is this is the skyline that we'll be taking to the Japanese. No, it's not the skyline we'll be taking to the Japanese. Must be that one? Yeah, it's that one. That's the car we'll be taking to the, the 90s festival and this one's the one we'll take to the 70s festival and we can easily just take them in all to the actual, like the big one. Which shit, what's the main one? That one. We can do the Formula 1 car with that one. So we've got the 70s and the 90s, we just need to compact in the 80s cars, which I'll look out for later. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we'll finish the video.